Hi, it's Allison. I've been a math teacher for 15 years. Today I want to talk to you about finding the equation of a line in standard form. Now, this is standard form. AX plus BY equals C. So you have the X and the Y terms on one side of the equal sign and the constant term on the other side. Now, A and B should be integers. Specifically, A should be a whole number, a positive integer. B can be a positive or a negative integer. You don't really do standard form with fractions. You try to get rid of the fractions and make everything integers. So you usually get the equation of a line in slope-intercept form first, and then you use algebra to rearrange it and put it in standard form. So let's take a look. Let's use this equation of a line, y equals 7 thirds x minus 12. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is get my x and y's on one side and my constant on the other side. So I'm going to subtract 7 thirds x from both sides of this equation. And what I get is negative 7 thirds x plus y is equal to minus 12. So it's looking pretty good. My x and y are on one side, my constant terms on the other side. But I have this fraction here in front of the x and I don't really want it there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by 3, the number that's in the denominator of the fraction, and get rid of that fraction. So we're going to take 3 times negative 7 thirds x plus y, and I'm multiplying that whole thing by 3. And then on the other side, I have to do the same thing to the other side of the equation, so I have to multiply negative 12 by 3 too. Okay, so on this side, on the left side of the equation, when I'm multiplying the x term here, the 3's cancel out and I get negative 7x. Now don't forget, I also have to multiply y by that 3. So when I multiply positive y by positive 3, I get a plus 3y. And then on this side of the equation, negative 12 times 3 is negative 36. Okay, so it looks pretty good. It's looking pretty close to standard form. But I would really like that number in front of the x to be positive, not negative. So if we have negative 7x plus 3y equals negative 36, if I multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1, I can get rid of that negative sign in front of the 7. It's perfectly all right to do that. You can do anything you want to the equation as long as you do it to both sides. So I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 7 gives me a positive 7, so I get 7x. Negative 1 times a positive 3 gives me a minus 3, so I get a minus 3y instead of plus 3y. And on, on the other side, I have a negative 36 times a negative 1 just changes the sign, I get a positive 36. Now, this equation is in, is in standard form. We have a positive integer in front of the x, an integer in front of the y, and our constant term on the other side of the equal sign. And that's how you put the equation of a line into standard form. Thanks for learning with me today. If you'd like more information on any of the topics, click on the links below. And be sure to rate, comment, or subscribe to our channel. If you have a specific request, please send it to requests at mahalo.com. I'll see you next time.